Hi everyone, welcome to the library. In this quick tutorial, we'll focus on how to identify scholarly journals relevant to your research and how to search within those journals. So first of all, why should we look at specific journals? Why should we search within certain journals and identify these journals as opposed to searching directly within a database or our larger Roadrunner search? Searching within specific journals may be a, a very effective technique for focusing your research on your discipline rather than bringing in research from various disciplines in something like our Roadrunner search. So it's a great way to narrow your focus. Additionally, Roadrunner is so huge that sometimes results may get buried. So you may be searching for your topic, but a relevant journal article is not appearing until uh, page 50 of your results and you're not getting to that. So searching within a particular journal, again, gets you to that uh, more specific focus. And finally, identifying specific journals and and uh, searching within them is a great way to help you identify where you would like to publish postdoctoral degree. So let's get started here from the library's homepage. A great way to first of all identify relevant journals is to start out doing some keyword searching in our Roadrunner search. And I'll show you how we use this to find out what journals uh, frequently publish in our area. So I'm going to click on advanced search and let's say our research topic is information literacy for doctoral students. So I'm going to search for that. Um, again, if we're looking for a, our dissertation topic, um, it may be it may be a little bit more focused than this, but uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to search for information literacy as an exact phrase and doctoral students as an exact phrase, okay? Using those quotation marks to ensure that it is searched as an exact phrase. I am going to specify that I would like scholarly and peer reviewed journals there, and I'm going to press search. We're not going to worry about dates or anything like that because again, our focus here is not to find articles, we're trying to identify specific journals. So as my search results load, I can start scrolling down on the left hand side of the screen to look for a section that says filter by, filter by journal title. So once I click on that, it's going to expand that section. It's going to show you the first six journal titles with the most results for this particular search. So I can see that College and Research Libraries has 48 articles in this set of results related to information literacy for doctoral students and so on. Journal of Library Administration has 37. I can click on Show More to show all the journals associated with my set of results. And so please Keep in mind that these are only the top hits associated with our specific search. This does not comment on the um, merits of this particular journal or the prestige of this journal or the ranking of this journal. It just means that uh, as I'm doing a search on this topic, these journals tend to publish more, most frequently on that topic based on my, partic my particular search, right? And so keep a running list of these journals. That's a great way to um, always know where the research lies and you can always refer back to these journals. Now let's say I do want to search within a particular journal. So let's say I'm interested in the Journal of Academic Librarianship. I, I could limit my search here to just 29 articles, or I can actually go into that specific journal and maybe search more effectively there. So let me copy this journal title. I'm going to head back to the library's homepage and use our find a research tool 
find a resource tool rather in the center of the home page next to our Roadrunner search. Find a resource is also accessible from this drop down menu for find a resource. But I'm going to click to it here and just paste in that journal title. And I can leave this as title begins with or I can change it to title equals. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and press search here and we'll take a look at our results. Our results are going to show if we have access to that journal within the NCU library, which we already know because it did show up in our search results in Roadrunner, but it's also going to show you how to access that journal. It also gives us some additional information such as the ISSN, but uh, it also confirms for us that it is a peer reviewed journal. So I have various ways to access this journal and I want to focus on the um, coverage dates. So from 1999 to present, uh, this, this journal is available in this collection. If I wanted to go back a little bit further, I may want to look in one of these databases if I'm looking for older content. But I'm interested in up to the minute content, so I'm going to click here to access the Journal of Academic Librarianship. And now I can search within this journal. When searching within a journal, remember you have to be a lot more broad because we are now just searching within a single publication versus when you're searching in something like Roadrunner Search, you're searching across millions of articles and hundreds of thousands of journals. So um, we are already focused on academic librarianship as our discipline. So I'm just going to search for information literacy. I don't need anything about um, students because we already know academic librarianship is associated with you know, students at a university or some type of higher ed. Um, so I'm going to just press search. And now um, across this journal, I will see all of those results. So I have 1,046 results. Uh, much more manageable starting point than sometimes starting in Roadrunner search or even a specific database. And I can use filters on the left hand side to further narrow that content. I can see that of these 1,046 articles, just 690 are original research articles. So now I can take a look at those research articles and sort them according to either date or relevance. So searching within an individual journal related to your academic discipline or your dissertation research topic is a really great way to focus that search. And again, you may want to then consider this journal post-doctoral degree if that is uh, something that you're interested in doing, publishing. The next thing I want to talk about is looking at journal rankings. And so again, we talked about how these journals, it's a great way to identify journals that frequently publish in your area, but we don't know how these journals are necessarily ranked. Um, and so one great tool that you can use for that is the Google Scholar metrics. And at this point, we see that the 2022 scholar metrics have been released, so you can follow that path um, to access that, but you can also go up on the menu in the upper left and click on metrics. It's first going to bring you to top publications uh, across all disciplines, and what you want to do, and this is based on the H5 index and the h5 median you can uh, once we once we navigate to the next screen you can read more about those but i'm going to click on view all here right under the 10th ranked journal once i do that now i come to a screen where i can read more about the h5 index so i can click on that and it says that uh, the h5 index is the h index for articles published in the last five years it is the largest number h such as h articles published within this window of time have at least h citations each 
So that's a little bit confusing, but what it means uh, with this first example of the Nature Journal, it has 444 uh, articles that have been cited at least that many times, 444 times. And so um, that, you know, again, is, is getting into more specifics, but it does show that that is a very highly, highly regarded journal. Now, what is very cool here is that while this is showing the journals across the board, so you're seeing medical journals, science journals, etc., you can actually uh, maneuver these categories. So you can click on categories and then say social sciences, for example, um, and then you actually get a subcategory area as well. So here you can say, well, I am studying social work. Uh, I am interested in that. I'm going to click on social work, and now I'm going to see those top ranked publications, again, according to the specific index um, within this area of social work. Okay, and then if you see anything here that stands out to you, you can then copy and paste that journal again back into our find a resource tool. And then you can access that journal within the NCU library. So these tools should get you started identifying prominent or frequently publishing journals in your research area. Uh, but for more information, you will want to go to our research process guide that is here under the research help drop down menu. So you'll click on the research process. And then once you've loaded that research process guide, you can scroll down to the very bottom or close to the bottom, and we do have a guide on scholarly publication. This guide is going to talk more about the scholarly publication process, but the section I want to point out here is uh, looking at, let me scroll down a bit, impact factor of a journal and other um, journal metrics or rankings that you can take a look at, including that Google Scholar top publications that we just covered. I hope that this quick tutorial has been helpful, and please don't hesitate to reach out to the library if you need any assistance. We're happy to help.